A few months ago, I moved to a small farm here in Central Texas, and as part of that process, I inherited, well, some traditional farm cats. Hey, buddy. Now here's the thing with these cats. I don't really know where they sleep or where they go or even what they do during the day. And in this video, that's exactly what I'm gonna figure out with the help of the Insta360 GO 3 camera. Now hopefully with the help of this camera, I'll be able to figure out where these cats go, where they sleep at night, and, and generally what they do so I can take better care of them. First, I have to fly to Los Angeles because Ren is gonna help me put together a little... Did I hear my name? Ren. Yeah, what's up? What is that? Oh, dude, this is the new Insta360 GO 3. It's not a 360 camera. It's more like a tiny little micro GoPro. It's tiny. How is it hanging on there? Oh, I've just got, you know, magnetic chest. And I just installed a magnetic plate in my chest, you know, just like right through here. So it just, it sticks right here. Wow, you're committed. I am. Wait, are you wanting to put this on a cat? Yes. Oh, dude, yes. yes. We should absolutely do that. Do they hunt? Do they hunt yeah, mice? They, they hunt mice, they hunt Ooh. grasshoppers. I'd like to at least figure out where it sleeps. That would make me feel better just knowing that. I'm down. All right. We're gonna put this camera on a farm cat. What up, son? I'll be right back. I need a stapler. I need a stapler. I need a stapler, Daniel. I need a stapler. Give it to me. Is that safe for your bones, man? Dude, that worked. By the way, since I got you, I figured I might as well tell you a little bit about this camera. I've literally got it dangling from a crowbar right now. <laughs> Probably one of the coolest things about this camera is the base that it comes with. Like this little thing here, this little pivot stand. And I'm gonna put this, like it just snaps in, it's magnetic, but it also clasps, clasps. Like I'm filming on the action pod right now, but I can just disconnect that. And this thing here, I can literally just pop the lens out and attaches just like that. Wireless preview too, by the way. It sticks anywhere, gecko feet, right? Additionally, if you actually scratch the lens here, they make little uh, lens attachments. This is like a little glass filter that you just put on top of the lens here. So if your camera is to get damaged, it's gonna damage the filter and not the lens, which is the important part. The main thing to know is that this camera makes it incredibly easy to get shots by mounting it anywhere you want, mounting it on your hat, mounting it pretty much anywhere on the little sticks they give you. They have so many different mounting options that it's super easy to get any shot you need to get. And that's where the final step comes in, which is editing. With the AI editing tools built into the Insta360 app, I don't need to. In fact, last weekend, I descended down an entire mountain outside of LA here. But I just told the app to edit a video for me and this is that. What you're looking at right now is what that thing edited. I made no corrections to it at all. I didn't even change the music. This is like ready to go for Instagram or TikTok or threads. I hope what I built here is gonna be useful. Fortunately, Nick also has a cat, so I'm gonna send this home with him tonight so that he can figure out if it actually is usable or not. I'm gonna hand this off to you, Nick. I took this vest rig that Ren made home to test it on my cat. You wanna try this camera, buddy? What is that? What is that, huh? And as soon as I put him in this vest rig, it like constricted his shoulder blades and he started just like, like he could kind of walk, but you could tell it was uncomfortable and chafing and he just wanted to lay down. That's the thing, like yeah. the angle's good, but he had no mobility right. and no will to move. But I love that angle, I mean. Oh, that's a great angle. It's oh, so and you see cute. how it's rocking back and forth? Yeah. It's like meow, 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 but it's definitely like rocking as his shoulder blades move. Yeah. If you put it in free frame mode, uh, it'll lock the horizon. Yeah, he's like not really sure what's going on. And then he just wanted to lay down. He didn't yeah. want to do anything. Nick, I think, came up with a better solution because it's such a simpler solution, but so elegant. I just got his collar. Maybe we can just clip this right on the collar, but it was like flipping around a lot. So I just put a piece of balsam in there. So I'm hoping this thing will keep the camera from going this way to and fro. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we are rolling. Good boy. Hey, boy. Oh, where's it going? Wow. Uh -huh. See his little paws hunting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It's like cat, the first person game. Right. 
first person cat. Yeah, this is insane to me too, just like seeing what my cat sees. He like kills it. Oh, wow. He kills it and then he grabs it and oh, brings yeah. it to me. This is like <clears throat> this little game he plays with me. He's like, oh, he's coming. He's coming. And he hides. He hides under the bed. And then he, he waits for me to come in. <laughs> Funny. Isn't this like weird to see? Yeah. Thanks for helping us be a camera cat. I mean, even this footage is like a new angle that I've never seen before yeah. of a cat. Like, just this test footage. So, dude, if you can catch yeah. a cat actually hunting, yeah. that would yeah. be so cool. If I put this one on Junior, who's the gray tabby cat, who's the most outdoorsy, I think we'll get the best footage from him because I don't know where he goes or where he even sleeps. Dude, you gotta find out. So what's crazy about this is that the preview actually continues after you pull the camera out. So the preview is still going. So I could put this camera over here, you know, and we're still seeing the live preview on this camera. I can literally just take this camera out and stick it to anything that's magnetic and it'll just stick there. That's like super convenient on its own. Not only do you have like a little selfie stick, this can bend and you can put it around stuff like, Whoa. <laughs> and it's 100% waterproof. The camera is waterproof, the action pod is water resistant. So don't submerge the entire thing, but the little pod itself, throw it in a lake. All right, well, I actually do have to grab my bag because I have to get on the flight. Here you go. Thank you, Ren. I will treat it like my own child. I will put it on my cats and can't wait for this, man. I think we're gonna get some great shots. Have a safe flight. Bye. Vlog Bye. loud on that thing. All right. Howdy. Please enter your eyes Good. in the mirror. Junior. Hi, Junior. Hey buddy, look who I found napping in the barn. And this is the perfect opportunity to put both the harness rig and the simple collar rig on him to see which one he likes best. What do you think, bud? All right, how do you like that, Junior? Can you move in that? Not so much. Okay, Junior says no, but I'm hoping that the collar rig will be a little bit more conducive to him Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. He's moving. Look who's the conquering hero. But it looks like this is our rig. He's moving around and he seems pretty comfortable with it. Comfortable enough that I think he'll tolerate 15 minutes of filming here and there at a time. Okay, I found out where he is most of the time because of the Go3 camera. He sleeps in this tree. He sleeps right, right here on these limbs and he likes to come in here every day, probably because it's cool and shaded. There's shelter and well, he's got some company. Not, not too bad, I ain't mad at it. He was also getting into the chicken coop. I had some concerns about that. You know, maybe he was gonna eat the eggs or mess with the chickens. But no, they, they seem to get along just fine. Okay, I've been putting the cat's food here in the barn and I had some concern that he wasn't finding it. So I put a camera on him and sure enough, you know, boom, he discovered the food right there. That's a good thing. However, when I was looking at the footage of the cat in the barn, he discovered a rat. I've never seen one in here. I don't know whether or not it had been in here a long time or whether it was just passing through. But either way, it seems Junior found a rat, but ultimately didn't do anything about it.
Now, upon discovery of that footage, I realized that my cat Junior, well, maybe he's not as good of a mouse hunter as he should be. But you know who is? My dog, Abby. When I'm gone, she goes to places I never knew existed. Watching through this footage opened up a whole new perspective for me. And I'm not just talking visually. This farm, this isn't just their home. This is their world. And I'm glad to have had the opportunity to see it from their view. Wait, is, is that a deer leg? Oh well, that's country living for you. Of course, this entire video wouldn't have been possible without a camera as compact and long-lasting as the Go 3. Well, it has been a journey filming this video this week. When we saw it out, we wanted to discover things like, where do these cats sleep? What do they do during the day? Who are they around? Which animals are they nearby? And can we better take care of them by better understanding who they are and what they do? And I feel like we've absolutely accomplished that with the Insta360 GO 3. Thanks to Junior and Abby for participating. So if you're interested in picking up one of these Insta360 GO 3s for yourself, the link's in the description below. Once again, thanks to them for sponsoring and for building this amazing camera. And uh, see you next time.